Welcome back to DXB Today. Tonight we are talking about summer skincare routines. We've had a wonderful show so far and we've been talking about the top tips and tricks of what you need to do when it comes to your skincare routine this summer in Dubai. So our next guest specializes in integrative medicine and is the founder and scientific director of the Neukirchen Special Clinic in Germany. Let's welcome to the show the professor, Dr. John Ionescu. Thank you. Very Thanks nice for the invitation. You. Thank, Thank you. you. It's a pleasure, sir. Absolute pleasure. Now, again, um, I have so many personal questions. Sure. <laughs> but then Just one, of, but one of the main ones I, I know and understand as someone who looks after my skin and looks after my insides as much as possible is your skin is a reflection of what you eat. That's, uh, not only. Not mm. only. The skin is a <coughs> reflection of a whole lifestyle. Okay. The skin is a, re a reflection of the Inter, inter interference with our uh, environmental uh, conditions okay the food plays also a very important role but there are also genetic factors who are responsible for the integrity of our skin mm. so when it comes to the actual diet you have many different like you've got the standard diet you've got the the, the mixed diet where you uh, incorporate certain foods as well when it comes to the treatment of certain skin conditions right this is a very important, it's a crucial question, especially for skin uh, patients, for dermatological patients, because uh, all these people need, in fact, a personalized diet. We cannot give uh, all patients with atopic eczema or psoriasis or with lupus, uh, very difficult skin disorders, okay, uh, the same diet or let them eat what they want. This is a big mistake mm. happening in the current medicine big mistake and by, con uh, by contrast in Germany we are deeply investigating the personalized reaction based on allergic reaction with uh, spe specific immunoglobulins in babies in young children mm. okay in children or with another uh, let's say category of immunoglobulins in adults as well as cellular reactions against food only when you have all these data on the table we are able to offer a personalized diet for an atopic eczema patient, for a psoriasis patient, or for a lupus patient. And that's why it is, this uh, approach is crucial to avoid chronic inflammation. Chronic inflammation, which we see on the skin, which we see in the gut with all different intolerance reactions against foods, and also over our uh, nervous yeah. system, okay, yeah. who is bothered with toxic uh, byproducts from our intestinal flora. Nobody takes into account an investigation of intestinal flora where you are a food allergic patient because uh, in the intestine you may have a so-called pseudo allergic reaction on very important enzymes like lactase like uh, uh, diamine oxidase for histamine and so on are not there and the patient is reacting and doesn't know why to normal things normal food okay without this investigation package you, can, you are never able to offer a personalized diet yeah thank you Dr. John, I have a question for you. Sure. On Instagram, I've been hearing this term called biohacking, your diet for beautiful skin. And it sounds very similar to what you spoke about. So when we look at specific diets, and are we really, can we biohack our skin to be flawless, ageless? Is it a possibility or is it just a fancy Instagram term? No, it's not a fancy, um, what I heard before. Mm the quality of the skin mm -hmm. okay irrespective of the age is directly depending on the inflammatory status of the body okay. and the inflammatory status of the body is depending itself what kind of food you have what kind of intestinal flora you have nobody is investigating and nobody is treating it and what kind of uh, let's say environmental toxic compounds are burdening your body especially when since birth you are not able to detoxify organic compounds, heavy metals, and things like that. If you don't investigate this uh, panel, you'll never know why my, my skin has a problem, as, as I see in, in our friends, in our friend's <laughs> hands, okay? Mm. This is, for instance, uh, related to a chronic metal uh, sensitivity and the metal burden in the body. Nobody investigated that. It probably has also on the soles the same injury. And uh, only with, when we're doing these things, we can cut a personalized treatment with a long-term method. 
So that's we're amazing. okay with biohacking. I we're think okay with biohacking. Answer. That's the answer. You can um, biohack. <laughs> Dr. John, we were we were just chatting before you came on, and I know that you're here in Dubai with the Saudi German Hospital. Yes. Um, because I myself have suffered very badly with eczema for the majority of my life. Um, and I wanted to understand a little bit more about that therapy that you're using on those eczema patients at the Saudi German Hospital whilst you're here. Okay. Uh, as I said, uh, most eczema, chronic eczema patients, atopic eczema, mm. okay, are suffering of three, uh, let's say, are uh, confronted with three main provoking factors. Mm -hmm. Immediately after birth, or the by birth, okay, the most important thing a baby can get is the first vaccine organized by gut. And this first gets, uh, vaccine organized by gut is happening when by birth, the, the baby is taking, uh, is getting contact between his lips and the vaginal flora of the mother, getting the right uh, combination of lactobacilli, bifidobacteria, uh, uh, milk uh, producing, uh, lactic acid producing streptococci, who are the first vaccine for his whole life if he is born normally, not by caesarean. Okay, right. Makes if you are born by caesarean, we okay. have a lot of uh, babies getting the atopic dermatitis within the first uh, year of life because the normal gut flora she should get from the healthy mother is not there. Mm. They have a, a very, very um, impressive changes in the intestinal flora, have a pathologic uh, flora inducing a pro-allergic effect, mm -hmm. inducing the synthesis of IgE. So these babies, okay, they have from the beginning, they get in the first months after birth because of this wrong colonization of the gut, okay, the first signs of allergy like atopic eczema. And this is also combined very interestingly with a lot of toxic compounds they may get from the mother if the mother do not have the possibility to detoxify genetically, okay, and they are getting during pregnancy to the transfer from the mother to the baby. So this baby having this toxic burden from the mother, having the wrong flora because of caesarean, mm. he's not getting the right, uh, okay. And also getting the wrong food because when he get the baby food with milk, cow milk or, or uh, soy milk, he will be strongly allergic, get strongly allergic against this because of the other two components. Mm. Yeah. That's why to reverse this story, to get uh, back to a normal immune reactions, we have to take care about all these three components and treat them personalized. And this is the speciality we have, we are bringing from Germany yeah. here, both for children and also long-term eczema patients, okay, who are just getting symptomatic therapies with corticoids, radiation therapy, or, or whatever uh, biologicals, never touching the causes of the disease. Mm. This is the big, uh, pr uh, the big difference between uh, current and integrative medicine. That's amazing. Tell me about treatment for psoriasis. Is it similar? And how can people in the UAE get access to these treatments? Psoriasis is not exactly the, <laughs> can be the same treatment as atopic eczema. Why? Atopic eczema is a typical allergic disease with type 1 reaction, IgE production, etc. Psoriasis is a T cell disease. It's, a, it's something different. Where, whereby uh, specific uh, cells, T cells, okay, are sensitizing the keratinocytes of the skin, okay, after being informated by macrophages. Instead of treating the causes which are inducing the sensitization of the, uh, of the T cells, current therapies are treating the symptoms, mm. radiation therapy, corticoids, creams, mm. okay, or biologicals. And why I'm saying this, because every patient with psoriasis know when he interrupt this therapy, when he stops this therapy, the disease is coming back, like, I mean, in the church in two weeks. Mm. So we are not touching the causes, we are touching the symptoms. And that's why we are bringing here the other, uh, the reverse of the, <laughs> of the coin, we are treating the causes from the beginning, investigating to answer your question, the toxic burden of, of these patients uh, who is increasing day after day if they don't have the specific enzymes detoxifying the body and this is a case in oxidizing where we have to reverse the sensitivity against all these toxic compounds and, the, and the, against uh, specific food and against drugs there are a lot of psoriasis with uh, worsening uh, with very difficult very let's say um, dramatic reactions when they take drugs common drugs like beta blockers when they take anti-malarials, when they take uh, gamma interferon and things like this, they are worsening their symptoms, but nobody asks uh, made the connection that they are worsening their psoriasis or something like this. 
wrong food to come back to his uh, problem. Sensitivities against alcohol, sensitivities against spices, sensitivities against red meat if you had of psoriatic arthritis with huge amounts of uric acid by, right. by consuming yeah. red meat every day. Okay, you are watching. Nobody discussed these problems. Mm -hmm. So that's why only after a personalized diagnostic package followed by an evidence-based therapy of, based on these results, we get a long-term results. Maybe you have some pictures here, what uh, we brought to, s to, to let the people understand what dramatic case you can solve. Amazing. Absolutely, and remember, if you are suffering from eczema or psoriasis, make sure to check out the Saudi German Hospital. Dr. John, thank you so much for being with us on DXB today, running two hospitals in Germany, by the way, and giving yeah. us his time. Thank you so much. <laughs>